How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Two Point Campus. I hope you're having a good one. That intro was weird, but we're going to stick with it. I feel like I just kept... I'm going to be honest, man. My intro... The, the, the whole house... Like, I, I feel like it just... It's like one big sentence without any pauses. There's a whole bunch of grammar and punctuation that should be in there, but I've gotten so used to saying it quickly that it just rolls into like one big sentence. It should be, hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Two Point Campus. I hope you're having, you know, there should be pauses in there, but instead it's just like, hey, how's it going, everybody? It's, it's ridiculous. Anyway. Anyway, if it's not obvious that I'm having one of those days where I've, I had a really good iced coffee about half an hour ago, recently discovered how to make really good iced coffee, and I've been playing Two Point Campus all day, so anyway, let's get into Breaking Point, because I'm really excited about this one, because it is the final campus before we unlock Two Point University itself, and if it's anything like Urban Bungle, which has been my favorite campus so far, we are in for a good time. Welcome to Breaking Point, where generations of students have worked long and hard to earn its reputation as the country's preeminent party college. Sadly, Education Minister Tarkin Foxbridge isn't all that impressed. In fact, he's finally canceled the campus's funding. The county's students are so upset that they might just bankroll the campus if we can deliver on the iconic breaking point experience oh boy good luck funding that awful place without the help of the ministry what are you gonna do ask around for spare cash like you're going to milkshake run perhaps it works for their little parties but it's not how you fund a formal education they'll be sunburnt and mutinous in no time personally i look forward to the day when they inevitably abandon your fun and games for a legitimate campus and leave you lost at seaside. All right. All right, fella. I see how it is. The campus is no longer recognized. <laughs> this guy's this guy is really throwing me off, I'm going to be honest. He's really it's really hard to read this while you just get this guy vibe in here. But okay. The campus is <laughs> I can do this. I'm a professional. I am a professional with over a decade of YouTube under my belt. I'm gonna just like hold my hand up to block him. The campus is no longer recognized by the Two Point Education Ministry, so we're free to teach anything we like. Invest our leftover course points as you see fit. Just remember, we're trying to keep students as happy as possible. All right, spend 40 course points. So I get to pick whatever I want, which is kind of cool. So what is a school of thought? It attracts essentially everyone. The academic standard for the thought-provoking and the obtuse. The study of thought itself can cover anything from the ancient philosophies to conversational subtext. The county's best and brightest are eager to learn, and they want to learn it all. It will need a lecture theater, a computer lab, a gym, a science lab, a VR lab. That seems like, that seems excessive. It's also very difficult. That, that does... That does seem, that seems a little excessive. What, I mean, it's a, it's a party campus, right? So why don't we go for something like maybe countercultural studies, which is going to be a lecture theater and a gym. That seems like a good idea. But let's also go for, I'm very tempted by academic ex exercise. Oh no, it needs a cheese ball field. Never mind. Okay. I'm tempted by musicality, to be honest. I think musicality could be kind of a fun one. So you get countercultural studies as well as musicality. We could do magic if we really wanted to as well. But I think we'll go for this combination, this kind of weird combination, and see how it goes. So that's fine. We're going to need three rooms, $97,500, and two teachers. Now... Tarkin Foxbridge has finally cancelled the campus's funding. We won't receive tuition fees, rent, or an XP bonus. Students will pay us directly if we keep them happy and deliver on the breaking point experience. The happier the students are, the more money they'll give us to develop the campus and keep the party going. Okay, so we need to just keep the students happy. That's 
I mean, potentially doable, I guess. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this and sell this. And let's go ahead and see if we can get everything we need. So a gym, a lecture theater, a recording studio, and then the teachers. So what we'll do is we'll go in and get ourselves the lecture theater right away. It has to be four by four minimum. So we'll do, I guess, well, yeah, I guess we could do, we could do my usual layout for this kind of thing. I don't know that I love this location for it, but uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll go for this for now. Uh, put the door, of course, back here, which is a great spot for it. And I'm going to... I'm actually going to try and save a little bit of money. Is this place warm? It is. I'm going to try and save a little bit of money by not going crazy with all the different add-ons for all of the different rooms. I uh, I am also going to move this just so that that window isn't... What did I... Did I just... I did just sell that, but I meant to pick up the room, not sell the... Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and now pick up the room. And then what I'll do, I guess, is put it here. And I think that's a pretty good spot for the lecture theater. Uh, as for the gym, I'm thinking possibly just right next to it. Maybe we go for a decent size for the gym. It has to be four by three. So maybe, actually, we could put it say there so despite me saying i wasn't going to spend extra money on rooms when i didn't need to i do think the gym is one place where we probably should spend that little bit of extra money and then for the recording studio we are probably going to want to do the same because essentially we're going to have people that want all of the bells and whistles that come with the various rooms so for a recording studio we're going to have people that want the sound mixer that want the punch and kick drum that want the vocal booth and so on and so on uh but what i think we'll do is go ahead and put this thing uh what what is this it's the music blackboard okay oh a keyboard yeah i get it all right so we need to do that and then we just need the punch and kick drum for now which honestly that is about all i'm gonna put in here uh for the bare minimum for this room just for the time being and then of course we'll go and throw a little bit of uh air conditioning into the space as well so we'll do this and honestly i'm gonna move the door right along move air conditioning to the middle and that gives us a bit of space down here for some vending machines which i think will be very important so that's the three rooms that we need let's just make sure the students are going to be relatively happy with um just four vending machines down here at the end which i think yeah i can just put them along this wall which should be completely fine that'll give them food and drink for the time being whilst they don't have a student lounge or anything like that really although we do still have ninety six thousand dollars so if we wanted to we could get a student lounge and we probably should as well as getting a staff room and as well as possibly getting some dormitories might not be a bad idea the dormitories are going to be kind of a big deal i'm just not sure where i'd put them Although I guess maybe along here, now that I think about it. And we could potentially copy the idea that I did do in the last campus where we eventually just copied and pasted the same room over and over again. I think that is maybe what we'll do. And I do feel like by the beach, we maybe want to go with the, the brown frame bed or let's go with the, yeah, let's, let's go with the white one this time so there we go we have a dormitory it's nothing too crazy nothing too fancy but it does the job and that's all i need it to do so i'm going to copy it a couple of times it's about ten thousand dollars a pop so we're only going to go for three of them because that's all we can fit right here and i'm going to go and get rid of this window because i'd like to replace it with a bigger window and i'm kind of thinking of putting it right in the middle of the rooms and that does boost the prestige a little bit so that's good three dormitories right off the bat that works for me i could get more right here if i really wanted to but sixty-five thousand dollars with no guarantee of more money coming i don't know about that i think what we'll what we will do is maybe upgrade musicality just a little bit just to make sure that we can uh have as many students coming in and having a great time as possible and that's the important thing right we need to keep the students happy so 
Maybe we really do want a student lounge. And there we go. We have ourselves a student lounge. We got a bookcase. We got a bunch of stuff that's going to be entertaining. And that's going to be really important for this university. $49,000 left. I think with that, we should probably get ourselves some facilities. So let's get ourselves a bathroom with half of this space. And it's going to be nothing too fancy, but it's going to be just enough to keep people happy. So we'll put that up there and that should be fine. And then next to that, we'll go and get ourselves a shower room because again, that's going to be something to keep people relatively happy. And we'll put air conditioning just up there. Now, I was hoping to use that space for more dormitories, but I think, I think those uh, facilities right there might be a little bit more important. So we'll go for the setup that we have right here. And we'll also go and get ourselves another bin just here to make sure that we have as much coverage for those as we can possibly get. Now, that is about everything that we urgently need. Let's get ourselves some staff. And I guess we'll go for Layla Piggott and we'll go for Countercultural Studies. We'll go for Allison Greenside. Actually, Aussie Milk is a much better name. So there we go. We have the teachers that we need. They can go and do their thing. We're campus level four, which actually doesn't really mean anything. I don't think I can actually upgrade the, the campus any further than I have done. So I think we're OK there. Uh, I might want to get my hands on a little bit of air conditioning for the hallways, though. So let's just try and cool the place down as much as we possibly can to stop the students from being miserable. And uh, hopefully this actually does stop them from being miserable because they can be a bit moody about the temperature and stuff like that. So that's about as much as I'm willing to do right now. $17,955 is about all I'm willing to, to sit on right now. So let's go ahead and start the year. We're going to be making money based on how happy the students are, which, oh boy. Oh, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. That's rough. Uh, let's see. 150 students attend Beachapalooza events, average B plus grade on campus, develop 15 new romances and campus level 12. Okay. So the romances, I'm going to get out ahead of that because I think initially we're going to need these benches, right? So put a bench there and put a bench there. And that's going to be the start of the romance. Then we needed the tree benches as well. So the tree benches can annoyingly go inside, I think. Uh, but what we'll do with the tree benches is... Can I just place them like anywhere out here? I really can. That's kind of wild. Uh, we'll go for tree benches here and here. And that'll keep them happy as well. And I guess we'll read what's going on here. Students love parties and they love the beach, so you can imagine how they feel about beach parties. Complete objectives to become a local hero and unlock special items that will make your beach parties even more sandy. All right. So we just unlocked the beach flag, which apparently I can place down here. Oh, wait, I can. Oh, I can schedule events. Beach of Palooza. I need twenty five thousand dollars, but I can do it. That's kind of cool. That is, that is actually kind of cool. Uh, what's also kind of cool is the fact that I can see, I guess, how much money I'll be getting as student happiness fluctuates. I don't actually hate that. It, it does make me a little bit nervous, but I don't hate that I can see that. I'll be honest. So now that we do have a little bit of money, let's go ahead and schedule one of these events. We'll put it in for the end of November into December and We'll try to repeat it every year because that way we can have students attend those events and it should be easy enough to get to, well, that particular objective within the one star objectives list. Uh, 25 students would like better accommodation. I bet they would. Yeah, I, I do. I do bet they would. Um, hmm. I wonder how I could best go about that. I guess alone. I feel pretty confident that I can I can probably take this loan and I feel like uh, maybe going and you know getting a few more dormitories might not be the end of the world uh, so we'll go and put one right there and we'll put another one right here and that gives us this space back here to play with which is probably for the best 
Accommodation rating has definitely gone up a little bit, which is also good. So students will hopefully be a bit happier about that. And then I guess for this space here, I mean, hmm. It's difficult to figure out exactly what they might want without, I guess, clicking on them and seeing what they're up to. So food is a big thing right now. They also want to join clubs. Okay. Do I have any clubs that would make them happier? So we have this one for speed walking. We have this one for... So they'll learn faster. They will walk faster. What is... What is... I wish this would stay highlighted so I can actually read it. Maintain campus attractiveness. I don't really care about that. What does this one do? This is one to make money. Receive money from club members. Are there any other clubs that I don't have right now? Is, is kind of what I'm wondering. I feel like I've probably got them all. It doesn't look like there's any other clubs I don't have right now. So that's fine. Okay, well, I guess in that case, we just keep giving them things with which they can be entertained, right? Maybe have them, you know, have the power nap club so that they can regain energy anywhere. Also a library, now that I think about it. Yeah, they're going to want libraries. Let's get one of those built. And to be honest, I don't know if I want to build up here. Actually, well, yeah, you know what? This is actually probably a good space for a library because we can do this, make it a weird shape as we've done before. And suddenly, I think we're going to have a pretty good library space. So we'll give this a shot, I think, is what we'll do. I'm going to move the door to, I want to say here. And then we'll just do the regular sort of bookcases and whatnot. We'll not go too crazy with the layout of this particular library. At least not yet. At least not until we have considerably more money to play with. Oh, apparently my beach event went ahead and I completely forgot to even look at it. But we did have 25 students attend, which is fantastic. We'll have 25 more or more next year, which will also be fantastic. Now, let's see. Can we get someone that's able to run a library, please? No, apparently we can't. Okay. Okay. All right, Marcus, congratulations. You are hired. You work in a library despite being good for pastoral care. And that should help my students out a little bit. That'll keep them kind of happy and hopefully bring their grades up a little bit. We're also going to need janitors. Totally, totally forgot about the fact that we're going to need janitors. Uh, this guy's name, Richard Dick. This guy's name is Dick Dick. I'm just, just pointing that out. Uh, it's, it's just his name. That's all it is. It's just his name. Uh, it's an interesting name, but it's definitely a name. Uh, let's go for Spence, Spencer Dangle. What a name, Dangle. So we've got, we've got, we've, we've got Dick and Dangle. Great, 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 great combination of names. Uh, uh, you know. I usually try to keep this channel relatively, um, relatively, like, I, I'm not, it's, it's definitely isn't, by no means is this, like, a family-friendly, uh, YouTube channel, but I usually try to keep it relatively reasonable, right? It's PG-13. Um, I would say that joke, uh, no, it's not even a joke, it's just their names. I would say that's probably fairly PG-13, right? That's, that's, <laughs> that checks out. It's pretty, pretty good. Oh, man. What a... What, what a dynamic duo. What? What, what a dynamic d duo. Oh, my God. You know, I've got to say, adding a few more dormitories to this side really tied the place together quite nicely, and I do kind of really like it. Now, we do have some people down here that are complaining about the temperature at the moment, and obviously that's kind of a problem. But generally... I think we can probably do this. I think I think we're going to be in a good place. Now, I am going to go and schedule another beach event. And I'm going to schedule it for the end or for July. And we're going to try and repeat that every year. So that we can have a bunch of students attending these events and being super happy and thus giving me more money. Although I'm kind of thinking we should look at the timetable for next year. And we should get ourselves another uh, beach Palooza, and I'm thinking we go for end of March into April as well. 
Now the problem is next year we're gonna need another lecture theater and a computer lab. Fortunately, it does look like we're gonna have plenty of space for that, but it's that's that's a lot of things. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to get rid of you and you. I'm gonna get rid of this, and honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the payphones. I'm gonna put the payphones. I guess. Do we have an entrance on that side? Not really. Uh, let's put the payphones here for now. Just buy this uh, other entrance because they do provide a bit of entertainment. Students like them and it frees up this space down here for me to um, essentially go ahead and do what I got to do. So sell this, sell that, and we can be ready for next year when we're going to need two more rooms and we should, I would imagine, have the money to do it. Now, they want a bench press. Oh boy, they're going to want a lot of things. They want a neon guitar as well in one of these dormitories, so that'll keep them happy. They want a bat poster in the gym for some reason. All right, fair enough. They want... Wait, it can't be reached. Where do they want the bat poster? Do they want it in here instead? No, oh, that is where they wanted it. All right, well, get rid of that one then. Give me my $50 back. <laughs> what else we got? Odyssey poster. They want it in a dormitory. There you go. And what else do they want? A romantic film. Okay, well, we have, I suppose, the end of July is when you can have your uh, your romantic film. And they want a park bench. Okay, well, I can do that too. Uh, let's do a park bench right here. And we'll do a park bench right here. And that should keep them happy. So other than my staff having nowhere to relax, which is becoming a bit of a problem, uh, for the most part, we're doing okay. And I am going to hold on to my money until the end of the year because I, like I said, we kind of need to, um, we kind of, kind of need to make sure we can afford the rooms next year. Actually, you know what? I am going to build a staff room. Let's go ahead and sell that air conditioning unit. And what I'm going to do for the staff room is it needs to be three by two. I'm going to do two of them, similar to how I did in the previous campus. Uh, I'm going to do two of them because what I can do is essentially, you know, we have a limit for how many staff can be in a single staff room. I figure this way we can uh, not get around that, but we can just have a lot of staff going to chill in a single area. And I figure that's probably fair enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a, I guess, a blue lamp in that corner. Maybe, maybe that lamp will actually do fine. I think it looks all right. We'll go ahead and get a... Uh, a TV right about there seems pretty good and we can do a couple of these tables right in the uh, the back corners I don't really care about the awards because we don't have any my pass rate wasn't very good but this this is okay uh, let's add another lamp to the middle of those desks and what else do we need to do here I guess we probably should add a bin I've been adding those absolutely everywhere and it does seem like it's kind of work and the place isn't covered in garbage which is nice we got a beach chair, not bad. Okay, so let's, I guess, also add more meat wizard. Really don't, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that name. I'm still, I'm still, the jury's still out on that one. I think it's safe to say. It's, uh, it's an interesting name. We'll go with that. It's definitely, uh, definitely an interesting name. Uh, I think this will do though for a staff room. Doesn't need to be too crazy. We'll just get ourselves a bit of air conditioning right in the middle there, and that should keep us pretty good. So the capacity on this is six. We'll go ahead and copy it, put it right there. And so now we have room for 12 members of staff to go and chill in the two identical staff rooms, which works for me. So now we're gonna need two more teachers and two more rooms. So let's get the teachers first. We'll go for Elvira Volcano. What a name. What a name. <laughs> that is such a good name. And we'll go for uh, Vivian Monroe. And now that's us sorted for the teachers. Now we just need the, the, the rooms. So lecture theater, that one's easy. We'll go ahead and copy the existing one. And uh, I guess we'll just put it here. I think here it's probably fine. Uh, so lecture theater, boom. We can also go and grab this dormitory and put it there, since it gives us a little corridor through here, which I kind of like. If I move that door, I could get another dormitory there as well, which actually 
I'm going to be quite honest, very, very tempted to do. Uh, if I just put the door like here, which I don't know if it's going to, I don't think it's going to let me do. So what if we move this to here and then I put the door right there? Wait, why is it not? Letting, why is it not letting me do this? Items blocked. Can I put it there? Wait, really? Fix invalid items. I'm trying to fix the invalid items. This room is... Hmm. Okay, that was more of a pain than it was worth. And we are now in a bit of a pickle because we don't necessarily have enough money to get a computer lab. And I could take a pretty chunky loan. I don't think I'm going to. I'll take the smaller one. And we'll just be very, very strict on getting a computer lab. It's going to be almost half of our money. It is a four by four space. And so I think what we'll do is just go and do a four by four space right here. And I guess we'll do the door for this four by four space. Uh, I'm going to say right here. And I think that'll be okay. Now we are going to need this whiteboard. I'm going to put it right next to the door. Going to put this thing. I don't really know where to put this thing, to be quite honest with you. I could angle it. I'm not going to bother. We'll just put it sort of in the corner. And we'll go for the cheap analog consoles. Because I think anything else is going to be a little bit too... A little bit too expensive, I think. We'll just do two of them. And that's about all we need for that space. Could add some monitors, but again, we don't necessarily have the money to uh, go around being all silly right now. So $28,700 for the computer lab. That is everything we need to start the academic year. We do have 50 course points, though. So let's spend those on music. Ooh. Oh, it's going to ask me for... <laughs> it's, is this my next... Uh, I don't like that. Don't like that. Not upgrading anything. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Start the next year. Just start it. I don't care. I don't care. Not doing it. Not not spending more money right now. We'll see what happens, I suppose, going into this year, though, because obviously new students coming in, potentially that's a lot of money uh, to be made, but it's also potentially going to make them unhappy because obviously, you know, additional uh, dormitory space is going to be required. Although I guess new students does equal more money because obviously, well, frankly, it's more students to be paying more money. So I, I guess in a way it's a good thing. Now I will say it's kind of interesting seeing just how many students are queuing up to use different things. I think we are going to have to go in and add more instruments to this room, for example. So we'll move this guy to here and we'll go ahead and get ourselves, I guess, a string section just so we have another instrument that the students can use. And that should, I suppose, deal with the issues of where their grades aren't going to be very good because they're not getting a lot of opportunity to use the instruments. So that'll be all right. Uh, we're sitting in $49,000 right now, which is... It could be better, but I'm willing to deal with that. Uh, they want a coffee kiosk. Where could I put a coffee kiosk? I guess we could do some kiosks sort of in this hallway. We do have a bit of room in here. Uh, we could, if we wanted to, make sort of a little food court type thing down here as well. That is an option. But I was kind of thinking this would be some kind of room. Not really sure what room it's going to be just yet, but I think it's going to be some kind of room. Uh, they want a recording rug or a record rug. They want it in the dormitory, all right? It's a interesting request. They've already got a rug, but there they go. They've got another one. Oh, no, that's good. The musicality room got a C plus grade right there, which is definitely an improvement from the F that they got earlier. So I'll take that. Uh, we have a bunch of romances coming along. Campus is level eight out of 12. Grade is currently C, which let's be honest, it could be a lot better, but that's about as good as it's going to be for now. I think that's it's probably you know, there, there's, there's room for it to improve, for sure. Uh, now, what I will do is, given that we have countercultural studies and musicality here, is I'm going to go and get a musicality bookcase because that's going to help people to do their thing, essentially. And then countercultural studies will be this one. So we'll go ahead and just put it there and uh, maybe just shuffle that back a teeny tiny little bit so it's in line with the other one. And that's, that's pretty good. Was that the best beach party ever? Yeah, it probably was, fella. It probably was. 
Uh, now, can I get another bookcase here? I absolutely can. Can I shuffle it back a little bit so it's in line with the other one? Nope. Okay, it's going to be living right there. That's fine. So that's going to help students to, you know, learn a little bit in there, which is what we're looking for. Uh, I'm also wondering, can I throw a student lounge party at the start of February and repeat that every year? And then maybe throw another one at the start of June and repeat that every year. Because if I do, and I might throw one at the end of April as well. I'm just kind of thinking of filling in the different spaces that we have with different parties. So that essentially the students always have something to look forward to. They also want a student union. They want flower planters. They want a sound mixer, which is, to be fair, an assignment request. So the sound mixer... To be quite honest, I, I have no problem putting one of those in here. Uh, we'll put it here for now, or no, we won't. Uh, we'll put it there for now. We'll go ahead and grab this guy and move it here. Put this guy over here, and then grab the sound mixer. And we'll just put it right against... Uh, oh, we can't put it against that wall. I can put it... No, can't put it there either. All right. So it can't go in either of those spaces. Can it go here? Nope. Can it go here? It can. All right. Well, that's good enough for me. And uh, that'll hopefully keep everyone happy in that room. We're up to 73% happiness, $56,000, which is less than we've had before, but that's fine. And in terms of requests, they want a horror film. Okay. Well, we can schedule that for the start of February as well, which will give them plenty to look forward to. They want the Crescent Bench, which, again, they just want these benches to hang out on. I can't build it out there, though. Uh, so I will build it, I guess say here and here and that will keep them happy now in terms of this student union that they want i guess we could if we wanted to build a student union down here it's not going to be a big student union it's not going to be a student union that can have gigs for example but it is at the very least a student union unless i can get a stage in there which no no i cannot is there any point in building a student union that I can't have a gig within? I don't know if there is. I'm really, really not sure that there is. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to put it here and then expand it. Because if I do this, we still have that space down there that I can have some fun with. But I can also, you know, put a stage in here so that we can have gigs at this uh, this student union, which again is going to serve to make the students very happy. And so there we go. We now have a student union. We can schedule gigs here, which should be fantastic, but we do need to get ourselves. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Steve Trickett here because I'm actually going to put Steve over here and uh, have Steve work the library because he's quite good at it. And then this other guy, good old Marcus, is going to work in the student union since, you know, Steve is better to work the library than uh, than Marcus. So that works out. And I guess what we can go ahead and do is now schedule up some gigs. And we could do a talent show. I don't know that we want to do a talent show. We'll just do some open mic nights. And we'll do one that runs through June, I guess. And we'll repeat that every year. So that'll be a little something something they can do which is great news. 121 people have gone to these gigs, 13 new romances, level 9 out of 12. We're getting there. We're, we're actually kind of getting there, which is great news. They also want more kiosks. Maybe we do turn this little space down here into like a food court. That might not be such a bad idea. We can get rid of two of these demands. They want coffee and they want vegetables. Interesting combination of, um, of, of things that they want, but... To be fair, who am I to judge? I only eat one of those things, and you can guess which one it is. And there we go. We have ourselves a little tiny food court that should keep people relatively happy, I suppose. Uh, four students are at risk of failing. Interesting. Well, hopefully they don't. It would be a bit of a pain if they did. Wouldn't be thrilled about it, I'm going to be honest with you. Really wouldn't be thrilled. But, you know, if they do, then, uh, well, that sucks. That's, that's, that's about all I got to say on that. It sucks, but, you know, you failed. Well done. Well done, genius. That's, uh, I don't know what else they want me to say. You know, congratulations. You, you, 
you failed. You flunked out of university. Well done. Now I will say I'm very curious about what next year is going to have in mind for me. Lecture Theater 3 Recording Studio 2. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So we're going to need more land is what that tells me. Now, interestingly, there's actually a lot of uh of space for me to go around and uh, and pick up here which is pretty cool i don't necessarily want all of it of course uh i could also probably build out here if i absolutely need another building uh but that's kind of cool this this map isn't as big or honestly as interesting looking i've got to be quite quite blunt on that one it's not as big or interesting looking as the last one but i think that's okay to be honest uh, let me go ahead and move these benches because I get the feeling I am probably going to need to uh, build a new building just over here rather than purchasing a new building. So we'll see how that goes. Funding is going pretty well. So let's actually take this opportunity to repay that balance. Well, repay the balance on uh, both of my loans so I can make a little bit more money per month. And in terms of student happiness, I mean, they've just had a bunch of parties. They've just had uh, movies. So... I assume student happiness is going to stay up there, especially given they have another beach party coming up, which they seem to love. So that's nice. And I guess we'll give them this uh, this flower planter as well that they keep asking for. We'll go ahead and put it, I want to say, here. And we'll put another one, say, here. And that should be just about everything that they happen to want. And so there we go. We have 70 course points to play around with, which... At this stage, I feel it would be irresponsible not to play around with them a little bit. $128,000 for next year's course requirements. I'm kind of okay with that. A um, little nervous about that, but I'm okay with that. Um, I think what we'll do, though, is get ourselves another building. And we're probably going to need a few more dormitories as well, but I, we'll, we'll get to that. That's, that's less of a problem right now. Uh, we'll get ourselves this building, and I guess what we'll do with it is something like this. We can bring it sort of over like this, and it can sort of just fill up that space. It's not quite as dynamic looking as the existing building, but it it's never going to be, uh, so that's fine. We'll also do a smaller door right about there, because I think that kind of makes sense. And that honestly might be the only entrance to this building. Maybe. It might be the only entrance. I'm not really sure. I think it'll do for now. We'll sell all invalid items. We can, I suppose, I suppose we can just go and put normal terrain underneath this thing as well. So it stops the weird sort of, I guess, curb thing appearing, which I don't love. Uh, can I actually, if I do this instead, is, it, is that going to get rid of the curb? It kind of does. Let's let's just do the uh, the tiles instead then, so it completely goes away. So a new lecture theater is nice and easy. We're just going to put it right down there. And next to it, I'm going to grab a dormitory and just sort of squeeze it into that space because I might as well. Uh, in terms of a new recording studio, we actually need two of them, which is kind of wild. These things are uh, $27,000 a pop. That's not exactly small change, but... I guess that's probably okay. We'll drop one right there and uh, we'll go and put another one right about here, I suppose. Oh, I don't love this layout. I'm going to be honest. I don't love this layout, but it'll be okay. Uh, let's go and grab another dormitory. And actually, you know what? Let's not put a dormitory there. Let's instead go here and we'll get a few of them just along here. We can go for four of them. It's going to be $40,000. I am probably going to have to take another loan here. But honestly, I'm kind of okay with that. I think we can, you know, keep students happy with dormitories. And then also keep them happy with a bathroom. You know, that's a, that's a good way to get to someone's... I would say their heart, but you maybe know where I'm going with that. You know, this has actually turned out to be a bit of a better space than I thought it was going to be. I actually really, really like how this has turned out. Uh, now, what I am going to do is a couple of windows right there, because I think that would look kind of good. Uh, we can maybe do a couple of windows right here, because I think that'll look pretty cool. And we'll just sort of space a couple of windows along here like this. 
and that just brightens the place up a little bit and i think that's pretty good a couple of windows at the back right there probably for the best and uh maybe a couple maybe just uh, a couple of windows here as well maybe maybe three right about there and maybe i don't know maybe one right there in that lecture theater as well so that gives us a level 12 campus which we did need so we're in a pretty good place and we could if we wanted to upgrade this course again which i mean that's good that's that's more students let's go ahead and get ourselves some musicality teachers and then we are pretty much good to go although we're probably also going to want to get our hands on another couple of janitors since they are going to be slowing down just a little bit we'll go for you and we'll go for let's see here we'll go for sandy quiche which is a horrible horrible idea and we'll go for alf rampant as well so that gives us a good number of janitors good number of teachers and i'm pretty sure a good number of bins everywhere as well so that'll keep the students nice and tidy and keep my janitors from being completely overwhelmed we'll get this upgraded and we're also in a position now where we can probably make some of these music studios a little more unique so students with assignments can do those but for now we'll start the next year a whole bunch of students coming in 60 percent happiness is eighty thousand well eighty five thousand dollars i think we're in a pretty good place oh no this is interesting they want a vocal booth in one of the recording studios okay so I guess what we're going to have to do here is we can go in and sell a couple of things. And then if I go and modify this, I can do a vocal booth right in the in the corner. But what I might do is put it here and then we can do this mixing desk sort of here. Not that it actually you know, obviously does anything uh, with the vocal booth, but it kind of looks the part. And that's that's sort of what I'm going for. So I think that's that's pretty cool. Uh, we can maybe move this thing to be a little bit more sort of in the corner. So a bit more like that, kind of facing the vocal booth. And that should keep everyone happy for assignments. And in terms of student funding, we're kind of doing okay. So this is pretty good. This, uh, it seems like we're in a pretty good place with this entire setup right here. We just need grades to be a little bit higher. We need more students going to the beach parties. And honestly, to get the grades a little bit higher, we are we are probably going to have to start uh, training our lecturers just a little bit because as it stands i just don't think they're good enough to get us to b plus grades but it's not the end of the world we're making good money we're doing okay there's actually a tremendous number of students wanting to use these things uh so let's get another one right there and we can't get one in the corner but that should now be enough and that should mean that everyone's learning at a pretty good rate in there so yeah, I don't I don't think my lecturers are going to be good enough. In fact, the grades have gone down, which is kind of concerning, but I we can get there. Like I said, we we can get there. We just need to make sure students are happy. We have gigs coming up. We have beach parties coming up. We have movies being shown. There's a lot of stuff going on that's going to help the students to do their thing. It's just going to take a little bit of time, but I'm confident we will get there.